Graphic 45 and today I want to show you how easy it is to pull together a really nice memory keepsake like this one from a basic um, display tray from the craft store and some great Graphic 45 paper. As you can see mine has a sports theme using the good old sport collection and a few other things in my stash. And so um, I'm not necessarily going to take you step by step on how it's done because it's pretty straightforward, like just sticking stuff in the spaces. However, I wanted to share with you some tips and techniques and things that I like to do to make it extra special. Okay, so let's go. All right, here's my finished project as I showed you before. And like I said, it began with this memory tray. This came from Hobby Lobby. And I basically cut apart the game day paper using the black side into six four by six pieces. And then I strictly kind of stuck with the touchdown paper with all the little postcards and frame images. To create a unique embellishment, I used this baseball chipboard piece. I was trying to put it inside of the um, Tim Holtz watch piece here. And it didn't quite fit, so I had to trim it with my scissors and sand away at it and round it off and then ink the edges and then I got it to fit pretty nicely. I just used some strong glue and uh, covered it pretty well and then adhered it right in there. And also what I like to do is grab some of the extra papers and cut out some miscellaneous images that I think that I might like to use in the piece. Just cut around them closely, scatter them before me and kind of pick and choose as I go along. And for a different kind of layered look, I like to use a lot of foam tape. I cut out duplicate images of what I already have cut out, and I layer them on top just to give it that extra pop. And sometimes uh, you might not want the image that's inside of a frame, so I just cut it away here and use the frame itself and then use my own picture in the background. I would go in and ink the edges and just for some added interest and dimension I would kind of curl up these little areas here before I glue it in the tray. And like I said I like to use foam tape to pop things up and don't forget not you don't always have to square up your photos perfectly I like to cut some on angles like this. When I'm creating a little tag embellishment for a masculine project like this rather than um, tying this ribbon into a bow, I pull the tails together like this and then I would cinch it with a piece of twine, like wax twine. This has just a little bit more masculine feel to it and now it's a good embellishment for my tray. And remember, you can always tear paper, ink the edges to make it look old. You can even flip certain images upside down if the frame works out better for you like it did for me here. I just covered up those upside down elements and you'd never know. I use the round alphabet stickers from the good old sport collection and they just happen to work out very nicely with Tim Holtz ideology um, type charms here. Uh, I didn't have to do any adjusting, I just stuck it in there and I popped on the clear little bubble that comes with the type keys. Just press that down really well to adhere it. And now I've spelled out Paul because this tray is going to be for my husband. You can also adorn the frame edges and the ledges, let's call them, here I cut out the word champion and I put it inside of this little label thing and it pops right on there perfectly. Uh, I will go ahead and reinforce these with some metal glue later for sure so they stay. And I couldn't resist these pretty buttons with the stars on them. I got them from the craft store. I cut off the shanks off the back and sanded them down with a heavy duty metal file. And then I'll use some good metal glue to adhere them right to my frame. It's sort of a fun finishing touch to my frame. I wanted to hang a pennant banner across the bottom, so I laid out all my little pennants how I like them. I got some twine and laid it across the table, and then I just started using some Fabri-Tac and adhering all these down. I did find after a while it was a little easier to do it upside down, so I flipped everything over 
still in the order that it was in, and I started gluing from the back side instead. It worked out much better. Then to attach my cute little banner to the actual frame, I used another little puddle of Fabri-Tac. I like Fabri-Tac because it's like hot glue, only not hot, so I don't burn myself. I laid my little end of my twine there. I grabbed a little chipboard circle from the collection, and I just kind of mashed that down on there, pressing firmly so the glue would set well. And of course, I did that to both ends. For just a little more embellishment, I created a few rosettes with the paper. And I went ahead and adhered these to the corners, the upper corners of my frame. Just use some Fabri-Tac again. Seemed like it needed just a little more at this point. So I added a wooden button, a little chipboard button, and some twine. Mm -hmm. 